Hi YouTube, and welcome to my first vlog. My name is Lindsay, also known as Flaming Zebra, and I'm here in my local hospital getting treated for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. I'm receiving continuous IV fluids to help rehydrate me and um, get my heart rate and blood pressure more stable. Um, when I came in to the hospital two days ago via the ER, I was doing so well I couldn't even sit up without passing out. And um, I passed out three times before they got me into a bed. I got admitted and they, um, they've been hydrating me since to, um, I'm going to be continuing with hydration therapy at home, um, but I will be starting to get them through what's called a PICC line, peripherally inserted central catheter, I believe it's called. Um, this is so that I can, don't have to be stuck every couple of days for a new IV, which doesn't work for me anyway, because I have what's called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and my veins don't, they don't hold up. They, um, they're very small, they kind of run away, um, and they don't have a lot of integrity. I have hypermobile type, not vascular type, but I still um, face issues with my veins. So tomorrow I'll be getting my pick line, and sometime in the near very future I'll be getting what's called a port. So this vlog is my journey from peripheral IVs to port. So that's it. I'm out of the procedure. They just kind of, they had me on an arm board, uh, keeping my arm straight. They used an ultrasound to find the vein and then x-ray to kind of guide it where it needed to be. And now I've got these two little dongles hanging off my arm. It's, a, it's called a double lumen pick line. Um, just means that there's two access points in it, and this should last me until I can get my port, which is great. Made it home. It's Saturday, and I don't have any supplies or knowledge on what to do with my pick line, so I'm anxiously sitting by the phone waiting for my, uh, my home health care supplier to call me and set up the delivery time and the nurse to come out um, very anxiously waiting because it's Saturday and they don't have as much staff on Saturdays and I'm just hoping that I'm not up until the butt crack of dawn waiting for stuff to happen tonight. Um, very glad to be home. I missed my bed terribly. Um, Yeah, I'm just waiting for more knowledge, basically. Um, I have my pick line all wrapped up in this gauzy net stuff. And um, that keeps my ridiculously big dongles from hanging and hitting stuff. Um, still a little tender from the procedure. Not as bad as it was last night. I slept with my little zebra pillow pet last night and um, just had him up, up under my arm like this and that helped a lot. Um, I'm really glad I have this little guy. <laughs> so everything worked out fine on Saturday. The nurse that came out had enough supplies to do my dressing change and then um, the supplies came shortly after she left, which is just how things work, you know. Um, I'm hooked up to a leader right now. I do them about every other day. Um, so I've got my little line. I need to know it's my big old pole. My pole's name is Gertie. Like short for Gertrude. I don't know why. That's what I named her. Um. So yeah, the, uh, I'm all hooked up through my pick line. Just 
has one of the leads coming out right now. Uh, the other one's all wrapped up in there. I'm going to be getting, uh, I ordered a special sleeve for, um, that would be more comfortable than these meshy things. They're really itchy and they slip down. Um, there's just, then they work, but not as good as the thing I ordered. It's called a Caroline sleeve. It was recommended to me by somebody in my po my POTS support group. And uh, it's got a little pocket to put your tu your, uh, your tubing and extenders and all that stuff in. Um, that should be here tomorrow or Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So the mail came today and my Caroline sleeve is here. So I thought I'd open it on camera. Where everything is. Oh, that's cool. They give you a little 25% off your next order card. So here it is in the packaging. Open it up. Let's put this on. So yeah, this is what it looks like all on and donned up. There's a little bit of a bump here from all my tubing, but otherwise it's very comfortable. It's not itchy. It's just not quite covering my bandage right now. Um, but that's more because of the angle of it. Um, but yeah, I think I'll like this much better. So my first bath with my pick line was an absolute disaster. My dressing got all wet, and in cutting off my makeshift waterproofing, we cut the caps off my extenders. So now I have currently anxiously awaiting the call from the on-call nurse to come out and do a dressing change because I couldn't get it waterproof. Um, this, I'm sure this has happened to basically everybody who's had a pick line at some point, but um, it's definitely not a comfortable feeling for me. I'm very anxious right now. Um, so yeah, I wrapped it with saran wrap and a plastic bag and a shit ton of tape and held it out of the water and everything. And it still got all wet. So now I'm trying to air it out as best I can. Everything's all clamped off. And, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the nurse to call me. But, mm, I just want to go to bed. I'm going, uh, since I'm not going to have the pick line for that long, since I'm going to just get a port, um, from here on out, my aunt's probably going to wash my hair in the sink, and then um, I'll use cleansers and washcloths and stuff to keep me clean between then and now, And because um, this is just too much anxiety. <laughs> um, I definitely have a love-hate relationship with my pick right now. I love that I can get my treatments easily at home, but I kind of hate the upkeep. Um, I hate how hard it is to shower. It's just... It's a lot of work. So today is Monday, April 30th. Tomorrow is May 1st. May 1st 
is the day I am getting my pork. Finally! Getting my pork. Um, I'm, on one hand, I'm very excited to get this pick line out of my arm. On the other hand, I'm very nervous because it is surgery and it's with veins and there's risks. Um, and I'm always nervous before a surgery, but no matter how minute it is. Um, originally, I was going to have them leave my pick line in my arm and let the port heal um, with, you know, not having it accessed. Um, that doesn't look like it's going to be an option anymore because my pick line in the last couple of days has started bleeding and is kind of swollen. Um, it sounds like I have like some kind of just inflammation in there because my pick line has been wiggly, keeps going in and back in and out. So um, I'm not going to show you it right now because it looks really gross with the blood on the sterile disc. Um, I had a dressing change yesterday morning because it had bled and then it bled more. So I called the nurse line again and they said as long as the disc wasn't saturated it was okay and it's kind of been really hurting me since um, my my veins don't like IVs they just don't I'm hoping that the port is a better situation um, I'm praying that the port is a better situation but my my arms had enough of the pick line. I've had enough of the pick line. I'm really, really, really looking forward to um, my first de-access when I can take an actual bath because I have had my pick line for a little over a month now. It was meant to be temporary. Um, so I've had a little over a month now and um, I've had one bath. I feel gross. Um, we've been washing my hair in the sink, and we've been, and I use um, a product called Hiba Cleanse, which they give you in the hospital, but is absolutely amazing for sink baths. Um, I actually bought more of it because I know even with the port, I'll still be doing some amount of sink baths. Um, but on the weekends, I can scrub a dub dub all up in the tub, and I'm looking forward to that. On a positive note, um, two weeks ago when I saw my cardiologist, um, he upped my fluids from three times a week to five times a week, and it has been amazing. I am getting so much done. I'm doing so much for myself. I'm actually able to leave... It's given me so much more strength than I had before. I'm actually able to leave my house using my leg brace instead of my wheelchair or my crutches instead of my leg brace. And um, so this hydrate, I know the hydration route is what I need to be doing. It's just the idea of having any kind of permanent IV situation comes with risks and it's there's always the feeling of do I really need this um, and the feelings of like I don't know there's just some anxiety with the risks but ultimately the benefits outweigh those risks and I'm looking forward to coming home without a pick line tomorrow. It's really painful right now. I had to use a heating pad. Um, I think if I wasn't having surgery tomorrow, um, that the nurse I called tonight about the pain would have told me to go to the ER. I'm just praying that the port is a better situation and that it heals well and that 
you know, everything goes golden. So. So, uh, I didn't get a port today. What I got instead is a bottle of antibiotics because the pick line was infected. So, we couldn't place the port today because of risks. Um, so, we're hoping to try again in a week um, after I finish the antibiotics. Um, and the infection goes away. And then um, on Monday, I have to go to the, the surgeon's office um, because I have a lot of visible veins on my left side. And they want to make sure that putting the port on the left side is like, like we had thought is right. Yeah, I have to have some ultrasound in my veins. Um, I was really upset about it this morning, um, but in hindsight, it's definitely the best thing. Um, I am going to be without my fluids treatments until I get that port, um, which I, it's going to be difficult because the, the fluids treatments are life changing. Um, so, what, another thing that was going on with my pick line is there's an allergic reaction going on. I'm not sure if it's from the um, the preps or the dressing itself. And nobody at my home health really seems concerned with which one it is. Um, but I'm concerned. I need to know for dressing my port what I can dress with and what I can't. So, took matters into my own hands, um, and I'm conducting an experiment on myself. Um, I have an IV 3000 over my arm and different areas labeled with different parts of the prep. Um, I have it all written down. That's a blank page. I have it all written down. The A is the alcohol. The B is clearly the iodine because it's orange. The C is the skin prep that they usually use. And the D, down, the, that one goes this way. That's the, uh, the chloro prep that sometimes they use. And then the F area is just, um, is just the IV 3000. And then I have paper tape because we usually put paper tape around the edges because it, the edges would come up on me. So I'm going to wear this for a week. Uh, like I would wear a dressing on my IV and see what, if anything, reacts. My secondary hypothesis is that the welts are secondary to the infection. Um, so, yeah, science. <laughs> Uh, somebody really smart once said the only difference between goofing off and science is writing it down and I've wrote it down so I'm calling it science. So I concluded my science experiment a little bit early. Um, the I wasn't seeing any signs of reaction on the dressing and the dressing was really annoying me um, so I took it off early and I found that I am allergic to iodine. This is my little lab report. I have science teachers would be very happy of me. But uh, yeah, the area where I had had the iodine on it, um, ex showed up with the little red bumps exactly like the ones on my other arm. So I'll be letting my home health care know that I'm not allergic to IV-3000, I'm allergic to iodine um, tomorrow. So that when, because I have my ultrasound to check out some venous clustering I have in my chest to find out where to put my port, um, I have that tomorrow morning. 
So hopefully that by the end of the week, I should have my port and be back on my food because I am feeling like crap. Gosh. So, yeah. Um, what is today? So it's Tuesday, the 15th of May. And today I got my port in. And I didn't record anything. Um, I was so tired from not being able to take my stimulant this morning. And um, I just plain forgot. I didn't even take a selfie. Not a single selfie. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I put it in the left side. I'm very sore. Um, they gave me some pain medicine. Told me to ice it every hour. But it's like it's not so bad when I'm laying down, but the gravity kind of pulls on it. And um, they accessed it for me so I can use it to do my hydration tomorrow, which will be a welcome relief <laughs> because I haven't had it since they had to pull my pig line, which that's healing very well. I think you can see the shadow of the sort of the purple tone of it right there, but it's all healing. And um, my surgeon listened to me that stitches on me pull and open and that the glue works better. So I've got a big patch of glue on my neck and I'm sure I've got another one under here. But that's it. That's my port. And it's just got a little, small little tube for connecting to my fluid. So the surgery wasn't bad. They said it took about an hour, and I was under general anesthesia for it, so I don't... I remember going to the surgery room. I remember the mask being put on my face, all that. But once the mask is on my face and I'm breathing in, I'm not remembering. I Next thing I remember was waking up in pain in the recovery room. And then they gave me some medicine through my IV, and... Um, Went back to sleep for a little bit. Woke up. Not so bad. Um, I will say that um, you definitely need pain meds after this surgery. Um, because it kind of feels like there's a lot of pulling with gravity feeling. And um, it's very sore. It's very tender. Um hard to sit up for too long. The ice helps. Do the ice. If you if you have to get this surgery, get some ice packs ahead of time, like soft jelly ice packs ahead of time. So you can just get a couple of them because you're going to want them all, like all the time. Basically like just 15 minutes off or 15 minutes on and then like half hour, 45 minutes off and basically, because it's just really tender. I mean, I'm hoping tomorrow will be better. Um, I'll kind of take you along the recovery process, I guess. Um, but yeah, day one is pretty bad. I'm hoping day two is better, because I got shit to do. So today is my first full day of having my port. Um, I was going to run a liter of fluids last night, but then I realized that they didn't actually put like a clave, the little um, the little blue cap that you twist onto. They didn't put one of those on when they accessed my port. And since I can't seem to get a hold of my ordering doctor, my nurses couldn't come out because they didn't have any orders to come out. So I had to go to the emergency room <laughs> to Luckily, it only took five minutes, but basically, I just was like, hey, I just need somebody to put a clave on, and so a nurse came out, took off the little gray cap that was on there, scrubbed it, and put the blue clave on, and now I'm reunited with Gertie, and I'm all hooked up. I'm getting a liter right now. Um, today's actually been a pretty decent day. Um, I managed to get up this morning, um, make phone calls. I made my bed and I took out the trash, which is like unheard of. I'm like usually 
way too fatigued, way too dizzy, um, just not up to doing that kind of stuff. So I did all that. And then I went to a doctor's appointment that was like over an hour long, which went really well. Um, then I had to go to the emergency room, get the clay put on, and now I'm home running my fluids. Uh, luckily, even though I don't have any orders, I had four liters laying around from before the pick line infection. And um, luckily I can, I can run some fluids while I wait for my orders. Um, if I haven't heard from my doctor by like, I'm going to pester my doctor tomorrow. I might end up going down to his office and be like, da fuck. Because, da fuck. I told him before the surgery that I was having the surgery and he needed new orders. I've told him after. Nobody has orders. And I only have four liters. Which means I have today, tomorrow. So today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I guess I could run one on Saturday and normally don't. And I don't know when a nurse is going to come out to de-access my port. Um... This morning, I wasn't even sure how I was going to get it flushed. It was so stressful today. Um, but, yeah, uh, everything is good now. Um, I'm happy to be having my fluids. Definitely happy to be having my fluids. I feel like a human being again. Because um, the last couple of weeks, I've just been completely bedridden. Um, I slept through all of Mother's Day. Didn't call my grandma because I was asleep, so I called her the next day. Um, but yeah, today doesn't, it doesn't hurt as bad as yesterday. It's still kind of tender, but the pain medicine and ice is helping. Um, I uh, made a little pillow for, to keep my seatbelt away from my port in the car. Uh, one second, I'll show you. So it's, uh, I crocheted it, it um, and it's filled with chopped up dish rags because I didn't have any polyfill. Um, but it's made out of like a recycled silk yarn that I got from the subscription box I have. Um, and I put these little straps, they're way too long, but it helps me be able to position it wherever I need to. Um, and I've got little buttons. So I guess this goes around the seat belt, and then the squishy part goes on my chest. It keeps the seat belt away from my port. Luckily, I have a really great cardiologist who specializes in quads, and he's the one who I basically just asked for like orders to go to the infusion center once a week to get saline, or even just infusion center as I need it. Um, but he set me up with home care, and it's honestly been the best thing ever. Um, I had a lot of apprehension about it in the beginning. Um, I mostly didn't want to admit that POTS is something serious enough to need home IV treatments, um, but it absolutely is. And um, I'm glad that I found this doctor. I really am. And I'm really glad that I get my saline treatments because they help more than anything has helped before. So I'm 10 days post-op, not having a lot of pain anymore. It's still just very tender. Um, right now my port is not accessed because I have a horrible rash because I reacted to the Sorbivue dressings. So I officially can only use IV glue thousand. Um. The glue came off on the suture on my neck, so it's just like a little red spot now you can kind of see. Um, heal Overall, I wouldn't say this has been too bad. Um, I'm still icing like maybe once or twice a day. Um, it's not bad. Um, I'm glad to have my port. Um, I'm going to be learning this weekend on how to deaccess it myself. So that the nurse only has to come out once a week. Um, yeah. So 
They sent me a month's worth of supplies today. Usually they only send a week at a time, so I got like a case of saline. Um, right now there's apparently a national shortage, so um, while I normally would be doing five times a week, I'm limited to three times a week right now, which really sucks. Because that extra two liters, like having a liter a day during the week, gets me through the week. So being down to three, it's a little tough. Um, it's still better than not having any liters. Um, so, so because it's a holiday, uh, Memorial Day, somebody will be out on Tuesday to access my port. And then I'll have to do it like... Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then someone will come out on Saturday to teach me how to de-access my port on my own, which it shouldn't be too hard. It's just taking off the bandage and pulling out the needle. It's, and it, that shouldn't be hard with where it's at. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with getting my port. Um, yeah. So I got my port accessed today. And the nurse did the coolest thing. Um, instead of putting the grip lock underneath, like you would, would with a pick line, she took a grip lock and she made a little securement device for my cap. So you, because there's a Velcro on the outside. And then you can just pull it out and use it. So you put it back underneath the Velcro. And it's not dangling down in your boob sweat. Like, how slick is that? Uh, I just had to tell you guys all about that. What a stressful morning. And I feel like it's only going to get more stressful. Um, I woke up, and my the area directly over my port is all red and hot. And I have a low-grade fever. I feel like I'm cursed. Hi, guys. Sorry for the weird angle in lighting. I'm very tired. This is like the only comfortable position. Um, the only one I can sit in. But uh, my port is not infected. I just have some, still having some allergic reactions from the adhesive. Um, I think I'm still healing from what the horrible mess the Sorb of you left me with. Um, but yeah, I uh, saw my surgeon and he cleared off. My port is good. Um, might be switching up what kind of fluids I use, but um, for now this is where I'm going to end the video. Um, I, it's been one hell of a journey to getting my port all set up and good to use. Um, I, per peripheral IVs did not work, and they don't for most people doing this regularly. Um, the pick line was good until it got infected. Um, I'm still not exactly sure what happened with that. I'm sure it had something to do, probably had something to do with when it got wet. Um... And then, uh, or the constant allergy to the iodine that nobody was addressing. Um, something went wrong with the pick line. And um, then there was the, the time I was hanging by my, flying by the seat of my pants in assless chaps. Um, without my fluids between having to have the port taken out, the pick line taken out. And the port placed. And then there, I finally got it. And it's it's healed up nicely. Um, I'm still adjusting to what it feels like having a port. Um, I'm very, like, aware of the needle in my chest. Um, but ultimately, I am happy with my port. Um, given another chance to pick um what method I want to do this therapy or whether I want to do this therapy or not I definitely stick with the path that I took where I tried the pick line first 
and I um, to make sure that it was worth it because the pick line is ultimately more temporary than the port, um, easier to place, easier to take out. Um, so if you're asking for my recommendation and you're not sure what to do, but you want to try, you know, you're going through a treatment, you're not sure if it's going to be long term, you're not sure if it's what's right for you, um, and peripheral IVs aren't working. Um, there's something called a midline, which is one step below a pick line. If it's going to be like a month or less, then I'd go with that. Um, otherwise, a pick line is great. Um, there's plenty of products out there to help you maintain it. Um, if you're thinking that the treatment you're on is going to be something that's going to be long term or something that you'll have to do on and off um, long term, I would go through the surgery and get the port because it gives you so much more freedom than the pick line. Um, because, you know, with the pick line, it's always there. There's no taking it out. There's no taking it out and putting it back in again. There's no break from it. So finding ways to bathe, swimming, if that's your thing, is a no-go. So um, with the port, you can take, when you're not having your treatments done, you don't have to go through all the procedures of having a dressing on or a sterile dressing on your body. and. Um, so it's easier to maintain good personal hygiene, it's, uh, which in turn lowers infection risk. Um, so, yeah, it was a roller coaster ride getting here, but the port was worth it, um, definitely. And I'm hoping that um, some potential upcoming changes in my treatment make things a little bit better because um, right now there is a shortage in normal saline. So I've been limited to three times a week, but I'm prescribed five. Um, we might be switching to lactated ringers um, because there isn't a shortage on lactated ringers. Um, but more on that in another video. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them in the comments below. Um, I will link to any products that I talked about in this video down in the in the description below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, hit subscribe. I'm the Flaving Zebra, and I'll catch you next time.